Hey kids, welcome back. We're so glad you could join us today. We are so excited to be talking about part two of our heart series. And today we're gonna to look at how the condition of a heart really matters to God. You might have heard of the story before. It's about young David who defeats the giant Goliath. So it's maybe something that you've heard about before, or maybe you've never heard the story before. But the key is, is that David, even though he was so young and an inexperienced soldier, he defeated the giant Goliath because of the condition of his heart. So let's look at the story together. There came a time when the Philistines assembled against King Saul and the people of Israel. Their champion fighter was named Goliath, who was almost two times the height of an average man. The very first day of the battle, Goliath stood before the Israelites and said, Choose a man and have him come down to me. If he is able to fight and kill me, we will become your subjects. But if I overcome him, you will become our subjects and serve us. Then he said, This day I defy the armies of Israel. Give me a man and let us fight each other. David, our king in training, lived in Bethlehem, looking after his dad's sheep. While he was out in the fields, his dad asked him to take his brothers some roasted grain and bread, as they were a part of Saul's army facing Goliath. So David did exactly as his father had asked, and when he got to the battle lines, he witnessed Goliath coming out and challenging the Israelites to fight. He asked the men around him what will happen to the person that defeats the Philistine. They said that King Saul would give great wealth and the hand of his daughter in marriage to the man who kills Goliath. Eliab, one of David's brothers, overheard this, and as older brothers often are, he was very annoyed with him. What are you doing here, David? Eliab asked. Who's looking after our sheep? You are always trying to get out of work. It's pretty messed up. What do you mean? What have I done wrong? I just came as dad instructed with bread for you guys, David responded. Eliab ignored David, so he spoke with some of the other soldiers around him. His questions made their way to King Saul, and Saul sent for him. David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight for him. King Saul wasn't so sure. You're only young, David. You can't handle it. This is serious business. He's been in training since before you were born. But I've been looking after my dad's sheep my whole life. When a lion or a bear comes and takes any of the sheep, I go after them. I hunt them down and strike them using my sling and a stone. I'll treat Goliath just like them, because he's been speaking out against the armies of the living God. Our Lord, who has kept me safe from the paw of the lion and of the bear, will surely rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. King Saul was so moved by David's words and the confidence he had in God that he said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. David had known God in the good times and in the challenging times, and he chose to keep his faith. The battle ahead wasn't going to be easy, but he chose not to lose heart. He protected it. David hemmed in his heart with his experiences and with the goodness of God and stood before Goliath, defeating him in the name of the Lord God Almighty. We too can learn to let God wrap himself around our hearts so we don't let fear enter in and keep a good heart in times of battle. Did you enjoy that story? So David, even though he was so young, was able to defeat a giant because his heart was so after God's heart and he really wanted to please God. So today, I wanna to share with you three points that are gonna help you learn a little bit more about how the condition of a heart really matters to God. The first point is heart medicine. Have you ever had to take some medicine that really tasted not nice? So you know even medicine, sometimes they make it the different flavor like strawberry or bubble gum just to make it taste good, but actually it's yucky. But you just take it because it's good for you. You know the Bible speaks about a medicine that is good for our body and it, it actually tastes good. It's a cheerful heart. A cheerful heart is just a happy heart. So when we have fun and we laugh and we are joyful, it's good not just for our heart, but for our whole body. It's like medicine. So we need to make sure that we, even though sometimes there's hard things that happen to us and maybe worries in our lives, we don't get them into our heart, but we keep our heart cheerful. That we make sure that we spend time with our friends, watch that funny video on YouTube, so that we can have joy and laughter in our body and it makes our whole body healthy. And a cheerful heart will help our whole body to thrive. 
The second point is don't lose heart. Same like David had to face a giant. Sometimes we have to face hard things in our lives. Sometimes the things don't go the way we plan them to go. But then we don't need to lose heart. We can trust God and have faith in Him and put our hope completely in God that He will help us through any tricky situation. So when we're facing a tough thing, a tough time like David did, we can put our hope and our faith completely in God and He will help us through it. He can help us go through any challenge in our lives if we trust Him completely. So don't lose heart. The third point is guard your heart. How do we do that? Same like a guard at the entrance of an important building checks what comes in and out of the gate. Same in our hearts, we can control what comes in and out of our hearts. You know, in our body, our eyes and our ears, our minds are all like gates to our heart. So we can control what comes in and out. And sometimes we need to watch what we are watching, what we're listening to, what we're thinking about, because some things can be good for our hearts and some things can not be so good. So same with our thinking, we can control what comes in and out of our hearts and we need to guard it so that we can keep it pure and pleasing to God. Well done guys, I hope you learned something more today about what really matters to God and how we can keep the condition of our heart really good so that God is pleased with us. I hope you had so much fun and that you have a great week. There's some activity sheets you can download from our website and a memory verse you can do at the end of the video. So we hope you have fun and we see you next week. Bye.